Welcome back to Bay Area Focus. Offering soccer programs and poetry workshops, America Scores boosts students' confidence on the field and also in the classroom. Colin Schmidt and Yuri Morales from America Scores joins me now. Okay, so this is an interesting combination, soccer and poetry. How did this get started? Yeah, well, thanks for having us. And uh, uh, we love to talk soccer and poetry, so uh, it, uh, it's not the obvious combination. Right. The, 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 you know, that's a good question. Why soccer poetry? How did this come about? And the, the short story is it was a, a public school teacher uh, 20 years ago in a, at a public school in Washington, D.C. She was a soccer player, she was a poet, and she was really concerned about her uh, third grade girls and what they were doing after school. Mm -hmm. there, there wasn't much organized activity, so she liked playing soccer, so she taught them how to play soccer. And then uh, on, a, on a stormy day when they were inside the classroom, the, the girls asked her, well, what, what do you do when it's raining or snowing outside? And, and the teacher pulled out a book of poetry and um, found that that too was fun and engaging for the kids. And uh, flash forward 20 years, we, we have um, you know, a thousand kids doing soccer and poetry uh, and we have pocket programs around the country as well. Um, so how does it work? Yeah. They play soccer? Yeah. And then they yeah. read, write poetry? What's going on? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's more, at the same time. Right? <laughs> <laughs> right. It's more than just a, a soccer league, um, and it's more than just kids playing soccer, but we try to um, encourage the youth to learn important life skills that they can carry with them to be successful in the classroom and also in the community later on, like commitment and learning leadership skills and also learning how to work together on the field and in the classroom. Uh, learning teamwork skills so we really try to um, bring you know those important positive youth development tools um, to to all of the programs that we do and you go over that in sports I mean you know this because you're a soccer player yourself and also the program director so yeah um, soccer was was hugely important for me growing up and and now you know as uh, S organized sports become more and more expensive. It's harder to um, gain access to those programs. So we try, we, our programs are free. They're at the schools during the after school programs. So we try to make it accessible for everybody and anybody who wants to play. And so then with the poetry part mm -hmm. of it, do they write their mm -hmm. own poetry as well? Yeah. I, About I, I soccer have, or yeah. anything they want? <laughs> yeah. Well, we, we, we have a, a couple poems that we'll share um, that the kids wrote. Okay. Um, but I, yeah, I, to, you know, the, the, it sort of toggles back and forth. So one day they'll do soccer, the next day they'll do writing and poetry. Each team has a soccer coach and a writing coach, and, they can, and you have to do both. Mm -hmm. um, the, 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 you know, the students j often write about poetry, um, uh, often write about soccer, sometimes about poetry, but it's, you know, it's wordplay. It's accessible. It's, um, you know, for English language learners sure. or, or, for, or for people. But can I read one poetry yes, poem Yes, of course. Right now? I, I want to. And it looks like they get to um, go up in front of their team and actually read the poetry out yeah. loud to everyone. So, yes, let's hear a poem. Okay. So this is a fun one. Um, and, yeah, there's a competition going on right now, which is what the image was of our uh, people, uh, the kids auditioning for a poetry slam. And we'll send two, two of our poet athletes to New York oh, wow. at the end of this process. But here's a, here's a poem. It's called Poetry is Not Just a Piece of Paper. And this is by Justin, a, a fifth grader at Cleveland Elementary School. Poetry is not just a piece of paper. A poem is a paper that expresses yourself. Your poem could be long or it could be short. Your poem may start not so bright, but as morning daylight hits you, it will turn to something bright. Poems go through the earth, sometimes leaving a mess. You can write poems wherever you are. Just remember, a poem is not just another piece of paper. Love it. So that's a fun one. I know, that is so fun you and so cre that. it's so creative. <laughs> Thank you very much. I'm gonna read this to my young daughter. There you go. <laughs> Tell me about the transformation you see when these young people come to you at first, when they first enter the program and then you know, a few months after. Yeah, um, you know, sometimes the the kids, you know, at first they're they're a little shy, um, especially you know on the soccer field. They don't want to get in there, you know, and get physical and in front of the class. It's it's hard to speak in front of a, a lot of people, you know. And so I think that this program, the combination of the two, really helps them work out some things, both physically on the soccer field, being comfortable with their body, being confident, but also in the classroom and and public speaking. They can really um, learn to express themselves, learn to speak in front of um, their peers, and, and uh, so, you know, from, I, I see the transformation a lot with, with a lot of this, the youth that we work with, 
and we're really intentional about teaching some of these things. So for example, before the game, um, often w almost every single game day we'll have uh, students share their poetry with the other team before they play a soccer game. So, okay. you know, when you come to our soccer games, it looks a little bit different than a normal soccer game. Yeah. There's poetry, and then after, after the games also, I have uh, some... There's poetry, po and they're playing nice with the other team. They're pay playing not nice with the other team, and they get recognized <laughs> so. for their for their uh, efforts. They get teamwork patches, and we do these rituals to make sure that they, that they learn uh, the skills that we're trying to teach. That's wonderful. Tell me about the Field of Dreams campaign. Yeah. That is one of the most exciting things for, for, for the organization, for, for me personally. The, the, the sad reality is that most of these um, public school playgrounds are asphalt in San Francisco. Um, you know, the kids are playing soccer and other sports, physical, you know, recess, PE classes are on asphalt. Asphalt is their cl classroom, so to speak. And so we, uh, we've started an initiative to transform asphalt into safe green spaces. Um, padded spaces. Uh, we call it Field of Dreams. We've done five of them so far in the city and we have hopes to do at least a dozen more um, micro sure. micro fields um, which um, which really oh, are great. transforming. That's great. You know, You're doing yeah. great work. Thank you so much for coming yeah. on the show and telling us all about it and yeah. for sharing the poems, beautiful yeah. poems. For more information on America Scores programs, just log on to americascores.org. Again, that's americascores.org. Coming up, a nonprofit that rescues pit bulls and offers valuable training to their owners. We'll be right back.